Yep, this is about a drag line. And uh, in my opinion, this is one machine that should never be restored because it's just awesome in its current condition. Derelict looking thing sitting in the paddock. It still works. This is a close up. Pretty horrible looking, isn't it? But believe it or not, she still goes and we're going to see it digging. Diabolical bit of work to sit there and try and operate this machine. Cables, levers, gears clanging everywhere. Lots and lots of things. You need more legs and arms than people have got. And here she goes. Throw out. Drop. Uh, falling in. Makes an excavator look like easy work, doesn't it? Should pull in. And lift it up. And slew around to where you're going to drop it. So now we'll watch another cycle. Complete swing round, pick up and drop, and then have a look at it from the other angle. Now we're looking from the other angle, and this is picking up on the other side and dumping again. This is a pretty good example of uh, how absolutely difficult it is to operate one of these things properly. That was a good pull. Now the thing is to pick it up without dropping the load, cart it back to where you want to drop it, and try not to spill it all and drop it somewhere near roughly where you'd like to have put it. And now a look at what's actually involved in doing that. This is the control setter. And there's no finesse to this. And great big levers and no servo mechanisms, no boosters, no uh, hydraulics. You have to actually heave on these levers but with great finesse at the same time. You'll we'll see in a second uh, quite how difficult this can be doing two or three things at once. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, don't get it wrong. You drop the whole bucket. And now from the other side you can see the operator's right beside all the cables and gears. There's no safety guards or anything here. And we move round to the side and you see that great big gear wheel there that's driving one of the winches. That's right beside his ear. You want to get your fingers caught in there and call up the RHS man and complain, would you? No, silly buggy, you shouldn't have put your fingers in there. This is the engine, some big gardener thing, I think. There's talk that it was originally steam powered. Uh, I can't see how a steam boiler and uh, engine would have ever fitted in there, but it's quite, it's possible. I don't know.